Hey guys, it's Daps here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm excited to have you join me in this tutorial. I want to show you this fantastic tool called Div Magic. This tool will help you copy designs from any website and then you can have them, customize them, use them for your project. I just laid my hand on this tool. I'm still experimenting with it, but I kind of find it very, very useful. So I want to walk you through the process. Definitely, I would leave the link to this tool in the video description. It's called Div Magic, and if you come there, you would see this is a fantastic, fantastic tool. It does a number of things, and one of the things I'm excited about is how you can easily just get the code or any element of any website. Just beyond that, there are quite a number of things you can still do with this, as you can see on the screen here. You can convert from CSS to Tailwind CSS. You can copy code through iframes. You also, it has some dev tools integration. So you can use this inside of your browser dev tool or whatever development tool you're using. You can also convert any component into React. I find that very, very useful. And web developers will know how extremely important and useful this is. Also into JSX, that's quite very 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 cool and also they have a div magic studio integration as well so i really don't want to go into a lot of things that this does you can really come out go and check this tool out and as a matter of fact we can even experiment this tool on this website so you can see here it has a button here say try on this page so you can see once you click that it gives you all the element on the page you can easily copy an element anywhere and i think this is super super cool uh, let's open your studio in a new tab. So now I just find, let's see how we can copy an element. So we can just come down here and over around all this element. And let's just work with this. Let's click this. So clicking this right now, I have this uh, drop down here. So you can see now my component is HTML. I can switch in between that or maybe JSX. And also for my style format, I can use inline CSS or external CSS or even tailwind. And that's quite good. And then I can just copy this. And I can then now come to their studio. So this is their studio here. I like the fact that I have a preview. I can close this and then I can paste this here. And you can see just like that, I have the element of the website copied literally. And I can drag this to see how this would open up. How super cool and amazing <laughs> this is. This is the entire page down here. This is literally amazing. And it is, it's just mind-blowing. So one of the things I really don't like about this tool, and I hope their developer maybe will see this video and they will improve on this studio, there should just be a place where I can download this as a project, maybe as a zip into my computer, and then I can use it. The only option they have here is for me to share this with someone else which is cool i find that very very cool but i just feel it's not enough i should be able to save this and use it so right now it means if i want to use this right now i'll have to manually maybe copy this code now and then go paste it into maybe my notepad plus plus or whatever tool i use which is not really really cool uh, let's use wordpress.org for example and to use this tool adequately you will need your chrome extensions you can go to your chrome store and find that uh, extension called div magic so i have that chrome extension here as you can see so the chrome extension is what you really use for you to interact with other pages and i think that's cool so for example i have wordpress.org here once I launch this Chrome extension here, I'm already signing into my email account that I used to purchase. And then I can come to any page. So you can see I can then inspect any page here right now. So let's say I want to copy this element here. If I click this right now, as usual, I can just come down here to copy this. And I have this element copied. Super simple. Instead of using the uh, Div Studio, I would just prefer to use Code Pen. I prefer this. So I will just paste this here. So once I paste this here, you can see instantly I have a preview of these elements down here. I can drag this off for me to be able to see more. And I think this is super simple and beautiful, isn't it? So you can just continue and keep going on and on. And let's say, for example, I want to copy this element here again. I can just hit the Chrome extension and then I can come down here. I can click this and I can just easily copy this and Come back to my codepen.io. I will leave a link to this tool also in the video description. You can check it out. It's a fantastic tool as well. So I can paste uh, that here too as well. And instantly that has saved and that has refreshed. So if I scroll down now, I now have 
this website here. Isn't this amazing? And I also like uh, the fact that this tool is able to separate HTML from CSS, from JS. So that's it using div magic to copy an element just like that with the click of a button. I don't want to overflog this, but you can experiment with this. I can just come down here and I save this. After saving this, you would see that I now have some button down below here for us to either embed, fuck this, hard disk to the collection, or I can just literally just export this, which is good, and I can export this as zip. Uh, that's fine, and you can see this has been downloaded into my computer. Super simple and easy. So the next thing is for us to upload this to a live website, right? So I will show you a tool here that is literally free for you to use. It's called tiny.o. So if you come down here, you can just easily drag and drop this uh, file here. And once you do that, you can then give your site a name. So let's just say I want to call this Dabs clone, right? So coming down here, you might not have an account here. So you can just come in here and type in your email address here and hit the continue button. You can see here it says working magic and is the simplest way you can ever have to host your website online. And just like that, you can say, please verify your email to make your website live. Uh, that's very easy. You can just go to your email account and then verify. I'll do that right now. So right now I have this email already from them here. So I can just come down here. It says, please verify your email. So I will just uh, copy this link here come back here and then I can just paste that link here and then I can verify. In your case, you can just click the button directly and it will ask a little bit of information here. You may want to, how did you hear about us? Uh, maybe from Google or maybe from a blog or from YouTube. Uh, employment, you're a freelancer. You can just give them the information you have there. You're a designer, use case. You can just say learning. You can say testing, prototyping, demo for a client. Whatever it is that works for you and then hit the complete button. That's it. Our website is live. So right now we can just click this button here to view our website. Isn't this super amazing? How easy it is for you to literally just use this tool to clone any page, copy any element online, and then you have it live. Super simple, super easy. Before I end this tutorial, what if you want to have a custom domain name for this website? Now, Again, if you come back to tiny host here, the truth is that they have premium package that can allow you add a custom domain name you need to upgrade. So if you come down here, you will see right here, it says upgrade for more and you can come down here to see how much to charge. But instead of me investing this money into a platform like this where I can just host static website, I would rather want to have a, an account with Maybe Ostinga, where I can pay as low as 1.99 per month. And then I would be able to host my website, whether or not it is a static website or it is a dynamic website like WordPress. And I think that, that kind of makes sense, really. So I have the link to Ostinga in the video description. You can check it. You can see a link to come here uh, to their cheap web hosting here where you can easily buy for as low as 1.99. If you come down here, you would see that you... Though I recommend that you invest in the premium account uh, because the premium account gives you access to upload, give you access to having more websites, like up to 100 websites. You have 100 gigabyte SSD storage, a free domain name, and that's it. So you can use this to have uh, a custom domain name. Uh, but unlike the single package here that starts from 1.99, you won't, be, you won't be able to host more than one website and you don't have access to free domain for one year. I've done a particular video that will walk you through the process of you trying to get the best deal out of Hostinga. I'll leave that vid, I'll leave that, I'll leave the link to that tutorial in the video description and maybe also on the, on the, and maybe also on the screen right now so you can click it to see that video. So right now, how can you host this same website Hostinga. Let me show you how. After watching that video, once you check out, you have an option for you to create a password and then start an onboarding process. So once you create your account password, so it will bring you to this step where you need to create or migrate a website. So in your case here, you want to create a website. Uh, so you click this here and you go to next. 
and do you want to host a website file or you want to host hosting app? But in this case, we don't want any of this, so we are going to skip this process. And then we are, we are supposed to choose a domain name that we have. In your case here, you have the option to type in a domain name here and claim it literally for free. But since I have two domain names that I own, I can just use this for this tutorial. And then I'll come to next. And then I can choose a server location. And I think I love this flexibility from Hostinga that you can choose a server that is closest to where you want your visitors coming from. So if you click this here, you have several options. You can scroll down. You can choose several server locations. But I'll leave this at United States for tutorial purpose. So I'll come to the next button here. And then you can see this is setting up our account and this will be done in a few seconds. That's it. Instantly, we now have a server set up for our custom domain name here. In your case here, the free one that you got from Hostinger. All right, the next thing we want to do right now to host our website on this domain name is to come to File Manager here and it will open up another panel here where we can manage our files and then we'll come to our public underscore HTML. So we have a default.php here. So this PHP here will be currently displaying on our website. So let's come back to our dashboard here and let's open up this domain. So you can see this is the domain here. So you can see uh, once I come back here, well, if I delete this, that's gone. So if I come back here and I refresh that suit, you can see that's gone. So let's come back to our file manager and now let's bring our own files here. Immediately I have that here. So right now I would just right click this and I would extract this. And I would extract this into a folder called dabs. Don't worry, you are going to still bring them back to a public underscore HTML. So I will extract this. So now we have this dab folder here right now. So we can open this up and then we have another folder. We're going to open this up. You take your time. So you have another one here called this. You open this up as well. This is exactly what we are looking for. We are looking for the index.html. Wherever you find it, what you need to do is just right click this and then move this. So you need to keep eating this folder here until it gets to this HTML directory. So let's eat it again. So let's eat it again. Still adapts. Let's eat it again. So now we have these at public underscore HTML and then we move this there. Uh, so right now you can see that in our public underscore HTML, we now have our index.html. So now let's come back to dabstoots.com and now let's refresh this page. Just like that, we have our website live on our custom domain using Hostinger. Isn't this super simple and easy? So that's it. That's my time for this tutorial. Right in the video description, I have all the links to all the tools I've used. You can check them out. You can experiment with them. And let me know your results in the comment section. Thank you, and I'll see you in another tutorial. Bye for now.